In this short video, we are going to talk about why a bank will debit your bank account to decrease it when the debit credit rules state that assets are to be decreased with a credit. Just to review, here is a summary of the debit credit rules. Note that assets are increased by debits and assets are decreased by credits. The opposite is true for liabilities. Liabilities are increased by credits and decreased by debits. Let's go through an example now. Say you open a bank account by depositing $100. You have an asset cash. The debit credit rules state that assets are to be increased by debits. You would debit your account when you make a deposit or earn interest, for example. The debit credit rules also state that assets are decreased by credits. You would credit your cash account when you make a cash withdrawal, write a check, or pay bank service charges. Now let's think about the same transaction from the bank standpoint. Hint, the accounting for this transaction will be a mirror image of the same transaction from the bank account owner's standpoint. Back to our example now. The bank opens a customer account by accepting a $100 deposit. So here's the question. What type of account is this for the bank? Answer. The account is a liability for the bank. The bank owes the customer the $100 for that customer deposited. The debit credit rules state that liabilities are increased by credits. The bank will credit this account when it accepts a customer deposit or pays interest on the account, for example. Liabilities are decreased by debits. The bank will debit this account when it disperses cash to the customer, pays a check that is written by the customer, or deducts its service charges from the account. To summarize then, when cash is an asset, it is debited to increase it and credited to decrease it. When a bank accepts cash as a deposit into a customer's bank account, the bank has a liability that it will credit to increase that customer's account. That's it. So that is the reason why the bank's debit and credits seem to be backwards from what is on your bank statement. Thanks for watching.